Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. I'm John Bizzub on behalf of Film Speak. I just want to oh. say your performance and smile was equally wonderful and disturbing. Oh, good, 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 good. <laughs> um, do you find a fascination with the horror genre um, in terms of kind of bring comedic relief to it, or do you find, or are you just drawn to more serious genre work? You know, I uh, I like both, and I and, and uh, you know that's that's kind of the thing that it's for me, you know, as an actor, like I don't ever want to just stick to one thing, right? So you want to mix it up, shake it up, you know, something like smile there's something interesting about trying to find a little levity or comedy in something that's so dark mm -hmm. you know because real life is strange you know right. it's it's kind of that thing of like when you when you laugh at a funeral right like mm -hmm. it's it's exactly. it's it's weird like people handle stressful situations differently um you know life is not so cut and dry so i i like exploring these different aspects of of things and 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 playing with you know how many different ways these scenes or situations could be played because you know there's never really just one right answer for right. anything yeah i definitely see that in terms of smile because i watched it with a group of my friends and a lot mm -hmm. and i kind of saw them as like, you know, some of these moments are really funny because, you know, just a smiling face. It's very like, you know, sure. that kills you. Um, my friends thought it was very creepy. I kind of see that aspect of just like, you know, life being just really strange. Well, um, yeah, I mean, the, the difference between laughing and fear is, is of course. It's, they're so close. There's a really great quote from Sam Raimi about Evil Dead 2 and that that the funny parts could also be the scary parts. The scary parts can also be the funny parts. I feel like sure. that also brings... Uh, feels in tune to movies like Malignant and Smile that's come out recently. That's like both equally really campy and fun, but also have a serious dark edge to it because they're all about psychological. Yeah, um, sure. Thrillers. Um, so what made you want to jump on a, on this project? Was it the script or was it that you can just play around with this kind of story? Um, yeah, it was it was a combination of the two, you know, like you, the script has to be good. First of all, you know, you want to be you want to well. Well, I've done some that it's not, they're not all good, but <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, you want the script to be good. And then, um, I enjoyed the script. I, I, I really appreciated the ending. I thought that was that was cool that that was how they decided to end the film. Right. And then I met with Parker, um, and I really liked Parker. And, and then I thought Joel was an interesting character in this world. And I thought there was something, you know, unique I could bring to the character. You know, right. I, I thought there were things to play with. I thought, you know, sort of maybe play against the genre a little bit, build mm -hmm. this relationship with Sosi, you know, these two people who love each other very much, but drive each other absolutely insane. They know everything about each other. They've, you know, they, right. they went through a lot. And how do we create that history without ever having time to show that backstory? Right. You know, that was... A unique challenge and 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 um you know me and Sosie worked very closely together to to build those things and 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 that to me was was the you know the exciting part and interesting part about joel so it really was just a a, a combination of things that really attracted me to the to the film right that I think and the fact that they wanted to hire me <laughs> <laughs> uh i just i yeah i love the relationship you you two have i think it just it's very um, it's a fundamental part of it. I think it's just, I think what you said about showing, uh, not, sh not pretty much showing it, but pretty much elaborating that you two had a history without. Yeah. It's well, I think too, even just that when she sees me through the glass and that little wave, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think things like that can say so much of course, in of such course. a short period of time, you know? Obviously, you have had a lot of experience within the past year with this and Scream that came out. Um, mm -hmm. And I know you love to be with different uh, genres, but in terms of the horror genre, is there any filmmakers off the top of your head you've kind of had an eye for and kind of want to would like to work with in the future? Oh, man, that's a good. That's a good question. I, I 
Off the top of my head, I know I should be able to list a couple off, but I'm actually completely blanking on like <laughs> everybody in the world right now. <laughs> there's a lot of good people. I mean, the thing is though, there's there's so 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 much good horror right now that there are so many people that would be killer to work with. It's a great time for for the genre. It really is. Of course, I think we're in a time where um, filmmakers are not afraid of staying true to what the genre originally was. It's to be fun, it's to be, to entertain an audience, but also kind of say something about the whole genre as uh, in perspective. Yeah, and hopefully, you know, the studios are paying attention and wanting to make more of those. I mean, the, the thing about horror that I find is, one of the things that I think is very interesting is you do have, you do have the opportunity f to sort of, the genre webs off into so many different things like the A24, mm -hmm. you know, type slow burn horror film or you get, you know, you get your barbarians or you get your smiles or or things like that. But there really is something for everybody, you know, not everybody wants to go see Terrifier. You know what of I mean? Course, like course. where somebody may want to go see Lamb as opposed mm -hmm. to Terrifier, you know, but but they're there. Those yeah. things are there. You know, and not only are they there, they're making money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. in a landscape where nothing except superhero films are making money, these things are making money. People yeah. are going, they want it. They want to go to the theater to see mm -hmm. these movies. Yeah. And I really hope that the studios are paying attention and keep pumping them out. Because not only are they making money, they're also making them they're not spending $250 million making these movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the return is the, the, the risk versus reward is like, oh, of course, <laughs> of course. I think for me with uh terrifier too, that I kind of, that kind of still shocks me with the entirety of like everything that's going on with the whole film is just that like, you know, Damien Leone kind of created that whole movie. Mm -hmm. under his own belt with a small budget and it's making millions and it, that and to it's me crazy. that alone it's, it's crazy it's and making headlines it's crazy to me and um, they keep putting it back of course in theaters course. yeah because people keep wanting to see it it's in it, it's, it's his ninth weekend it's and it just crossed 10 million dollars and, it, and i'm insane. and yeah, they made it for insane. what they made it for pennies yeah like i want to say two hundred fifty thousand, which is even um crazy crazy um, my final question to you is yeah. what does the horror genre mean to you? So I'm gonna I'm gonna pivot off of that a little bit, not just the horror genre, but I think I love I, I love the horror genre in terms of 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 what it is, but I think what I really love about it is there's a real sense of community in the horror world. You get these fans and these people that love these films and you know, like anywhere else, it can be toxic and it can be mm -hmm. shitty, but it can also be really, really great and supportive and you have these people who so many people who all have such a love for this thing and mm. you know where i started and where i cut my teeth was horror you yeah. know and a lot of these people watched me then are who watched me then are still around now like yeah. following me and and mm have been supportive for 10 plus years and and checking out the movies like I, you know i can't tell you how cool it's been with smile and just the social media reaction and people being like oh shit kyle's in this they're like <laughs> it's so good to see him again like it's been it's been really really um nice and the support has been great and yeah. It's just cool because they people people who love horror movies show up too. You know, they put their money where their mouth is. Yeah. They actually yeah. show up. They come to play. They they come to enjoy the film. So, you know, horror movies. It's 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 not just about the genre, but it's also about it's about the fans and the people who watch the movies. Of it's it's a very cool thing to be a part of, and I'm very honored to be in that community in the way that I am. Of course, you know. It's nice. Yeah.